With regard to the report on uh, extremist uh, parties that exploit ext extremist platforms, the focus really is um, on this increasing phenomenon of neo-Nazi groups that are emerging, um, groups uh, that are embracing, increasingly embracing um, extremist ideologies, groups that are increasingly exploiting um, extremist political platforms, um, and that has, because that has an effect on um, um, specific issues of human rights and specifically with regard to um, targeting of individuals of uh, certain racial minorities. The focus in this particular report is we are highlighting the danger that these um, groups, movement and parties are posing to democratic processes. Um, the fact that you have um, these uh, um, parties that are using um, extremist ideologies participating in the political process is leading to a certain distortion of the democratic process. It's uh, uh, introducing a certain harmful effect to the democratic process. And uh, one critical recommendation is the need for prompt investigations, um, prompt um, um, attention and, um, and um, and the investigations and prosecution of individuals and incidents um, of racist violence and racist attacks. Um, we are also recommending the need to put in place effective legislation to address this problem. Um, we are also recommending that political parties and political leaders have responsibilities to denounce um, extremist uh, agendas and to refrain from uh, mobilizing on these particular platforms. In most of the conflict, um, discrimination that sp uh, targets individuals of certain racial or ethnic minorities is part and parcel of this conflict and sometimes is the basis or is the reason for the conflict. So there's a very close relationship between this. It's been noted in various reports and um, we continue to highlight this um, connection.